Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with another layout. This one is for the Hip Kit Club, and I'm using the 2017 July kits again. And I went through the kits and picked out some things that I've been wanting to use, but haven't yet. And that Project Live card with the pineapple on it is so pretty. And so I went through and picked out pretty much everything that had a pineapple on it, or it had that pretty green, a little bit of pink, and some of the aqua turquoise blue color. And that's kind of just where I was going to start with this. Now I'm going to use this cut file. I believe this was from last month's cut files from the June set. It's that really pretty uh, hibiscus flower with the big palm leaves on it. And I think Kim Watson designed that. And I never got a chance to use it or never got around to using it. So I cut it on some white cardstock here. And before I peel it off my mat, I'm going to go ahead and coat it with some white gesso because I'm going to color it with some watercolors and I want to make sure that it doesn't rip and tear when I start to add all of the liquid to it. So I've got it ready to go and I want it to be bright pink orangey flowers with green. So I pulled out the Prima watercolor confections. I believe those were two color kits ago. I think it was the May color kit. Um, Check the website if you want to know for sure, if you don't have those, but you want to get those very beautiful tropical colors. And I'm scrapping a picture of me and my husband. We were in St. Martin. I just showed it to you there a second ago. We were at a place called Maho Bay, and uh, it's right on the beach in St. Martin. And we were having lunch at a little tiki bar right there on the beach. And it had just rained on us. And then it stopped, and it was bright and sunny again, and it was beautiful. Beautiful day, beautiful scenery. So I want this to be a really fun tropical layout that sort of encompasses the scenery where we were. Not necessarily in the picture, but when I look at the picture, I'll know where we were, and I, I know that it was a very tropical paradise place. So I'm just using some pink, some orange, some green, and just a, a random brush from my stash and painting this beautiful cut file. And um, I think the gesso kind of helps helps it to blend and smudge, and it helps with the lights and the darks. I love how I'm not even really trying to get a lot of shading, but just the more paint you put on your brush, the darker the color. And then when you add water, it kind of spreads. And I think this turned out really, really pretty. And it only took me a few minutes. And like I said, I didn't even really try I just went for the color and it turned out really, really pretty. And I actually like what it looked like on my desk when I peel it off. I wish I would have done that on some scrap paper because I think that looks pretty cool too, but it's my desk, so I have to wipe it off. All right, so now I'm going to get started on the background and I'm going to use this mint color paper from Dear Lizzie. And I'm going to fussy cut this pineapple out. It was going to be my starting point. And since there's only half of it there, I have to run it off the page or tuck it underneath something. And so I decided to start my design on the right side of the page. And I'm going to let that pineapple dictate where I put the picture. Because, like I said, half of it's gone. So I have to kind of make it look like I cut it off the page. Now I'm going to add those... A uh, couple of the Project Life cards behind my picture. And then I want that beautiful cut file to sort of overlap the corner of the picture. So I'm going to play around, kind of twist and turn that to uh, get it situated like I want it. I was really, really excited to see all the pineapples and flamingos in the kit this month. They are really, really popular. And I love creating summer pages. And I think I could use use those shapes on every single page that I make. And I think I've used flamingos quite a bit lately and I am nowhere near sick of them. So if I keep getting flamingos, I'm going to keep using them because they're perfect. They're always the perfect pink and it just screams summertime, I think. So I'm going to use the two Amy Tangerine on a Whim die cut pineapples over on the left. And then I'm going to use a couple of the exclusive chipboard pieces around the page. Actually, I'm going to use quite a bit of the chipboard. 
I'm going to use some of those speech bubbles. I'm going to use the flamingo and that little blue banner piece that says the good life, a couple of the tropical flowers. And now I'm going to do mixed media on my background, but I don't want to move anything because I love how it looks. So what I'm going to do, and I do this a lot, uh, is just to glue it all down. And so it's one piece. And so now I've got my side cluster and I'm going to work on this big cluster that I've got here. And I don't want to take it apart because I will forget exactly how I had it. So if you if you just glue it all together, or at least big parts of it together, then uh, it's going to stay put. And you can just kind of move each big chunk around as one unit, and it's easier to get it back like you want it. I know I've said this before, but I highly recommend getting the Project Life kit. Even if you don't do Project Life, I tend to use quite a bit of the cards on my layouts. I think they're perfect for using as layers. They're perfect for fussy cutting. And lately, well, more than lately, a long time now in hip kits, they, they've been exclusive. And they have beautiful shapes and designs that you can fussy cut out. And just, I'm always blown away by how pretty they are. So I added some white gesso there, basically across the center of the entire page because the design that I've got going is going to be, like you saw just a second ago, kind of horizontal across the whole thing. And I'm going to incorporate a couple different things on my background, some of my go-to shimmers, and that's Jenny B. Blue. I like to start with that a lot, especially on my summer layouts. It's the perfect blue color, I think. It's one of my favorite blues. And I'm just spraying it onto some plastic and smushing it down. And then I'm going to come back to the Prima watercolors and just add some different shades of blue. And I like the mint background. I think it turns out to be a pretty background. I tend to use white a lot and I'm, you know, I, and I love white backgrounds. It really makes the colors pop. But sometimes it's fun to use a different color or a different um, pattern paper like this and this is a good one for a background because it's subtle and even though there's a lot of text on it it's white and it's easily blended when I add uh, the gesso it kind of just softens everything up and I'm still able to get a lot of really bright colors with the watercolor that I've got going on now that pink that I just splattered there is from the color kit from this month it's called sweetheart and it's a vibes and I'm mixing and matching with the, the watercolor, the spray bottles, a little bit of everything. And because each thing is a different tint of a color. And so it's fun to just use whatever you have on hand to kind of get different shades. That's the one from this color kit also. It is Sunset Strip. And that's a Vibes also. And I, I wanted a lot of blue on the background because I've got a lot of pink going on in the embellishments. And then I've got a lot of that orangey yellow color going on in the pineapples. And so I didn't want to add too much more of that color on the background. And I didn't really feel the need to add any green or a lot of green because there's a lot of green already in the leaves. And I just, I love how this turns out. I, I hope you guys aren't sick of me making tropical summer layouts because <laughs> they are just so fun to make and they're so beautiful and the colors are my favorite. It just, it comes so fast and easy for me when I have a kit like this. This layout came together so fast for me because I'm a very slow scrapper and I overthink things and I, you know, I'm just very OCD with so many things and it takes me forever to decide things a lot of the times but this one it was just like everything I picked up looked good you know and so it was it was very fun to just have everything flow and work together so nicely I'm just gonna add a little bit of thread in before I start to glue everything down I've got some of the yellowy yellowish golden color over underneath the picture and I added in some darker turquoise blue over on the left and this is just going to be kind of under everything and so you can see it kind of peeking from underneath that hibiscus flower and I'm going to add some pink over on the left and I actually mixed a darker pink and a bubblegum pink thread together and it makes it look like a whole different color even though it's two threads just balled up together so now I'm going to glue it all down and I love how the flamingo is facing the right, so it looks like he's about to walk over toward the picture. 
I'm going to glue that down. I love that Project Life uh, pineapple. So pretty. And now I'm going to take some time and cut up some little bits of foam just to add under a couple things to raise it up. I am going to add some little bits of foam behind this die cut to give it some dimension as well and glue that down. And now comes the little embellishments. Um, more of the chipboard. I'm going to add a couple of the clear stickers. This is from the Amy Tangerine on a Whim clear sticker book. And there's some really pretty tropical flowers in there as well that match. Everything matches. Super nice. couple little leaves just because they're there and they match and this layout can't have enough leaves and pineapples and now I'm going to work on using some of the exclusive elements uh, by now I'm sure you've seen all these this is the exclusive wood veneer pack and the exclusive puffy stickers uh, gorgeous gorgeous more pineapples so so pretty even a couple of those over there on the right or one of them I think but I'm going to use a couple more of the puffy stickers. I'm going to add one there. Good vacay memories. I'm going to use. Actually, I put that one back. But I do use the one that says today, and I'm going to come back to that. And I also wanted to use some of the epoxy stickers, and those are exclusive. I'm going to use that beautiful scripty pink fantastic word. I've been wanting to use it. And I'm going to make it work on this layout. And this is another layout that doesn't really have a specific title. It's just going to be, I call it Fantastic Fun. Just because I wanted to use those embellishments that had those words on it. Because they match and they look good. And um, so I thought, you know, that could just be my title. And I could describe where we were in my journaling. And these are some little dots that uh, can kind of serve as uh, pretty much like enamel dots. Except they're puffy sticker dots. Just going to scatter those around the page. It was, I know I say this a lot also, but it's, it was hard to stop because every little thing I looked at, I wanted to, to put on there because it just, it matched and it looked cute and I had to say, no, stop, move on to something else, save something for another layout. That's the uh, clear epoxy stickers from Echo Park. I'm going to use that orange one that says together. And then I'm going to use some of these brads, old-fashioned brads. I'm going to stick them right through the paper. And these are also from Echo Park. I use some of the um, uh, patterned ones and then some of the ones that are more like rhinestones. I'm going to add a couple of those in as well. Let me just add some little detail and some sparkle around the page. And then one of the last things I'm going to do is add a little bit of journaling. I like to use my T-square ruler just to make sure my lines are straight because I'm 100% going to write downhill or crooked if I don't draw lines. And I'm just writing about where we were and what we were doing and how much fun we had that day. And then I'm going to come in, this is also, this is the third color in our color kit this month, Hermit the Frog, and it's a really pretty limish green color. And then back in with the Sweetheart to add a little bit more pink. And that's going to wrap it up. I love how this turned out. You guys, look at the colors. You cannot go wrong with this kit or these kits this month. They are so, so gorgeous. I, um, I'm obsessed with scrapping tropical summer layouts. I can't help it. It's just, oh, I love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It was a lot of fun to put together. And um, let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits or any of the uh, products, any of the techniques that I did. I will be more than happy to answer. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.